Hello, I am Shaheen and welcome to my channel Infinite Learnopedia. In this video, I will share with you two drawing tools which you can use with live web pages. You can use this in your Google Meet. This tool will make your teaching more effective. Let's start with the first one. The first one is Web Paint. We'll download this web paint from Chrome Web Store. Type Chrome Web Store. Click on extensions. In the search box, type web paint. So here is the first extension that is web paint. So here you will find add to Chrome option. Click on add to Chrome. Then second step is add extension. So the web paint will be added in your Chrome browser. Here you can see I have added web paint. Now let's take a look how it works. Now I will open Meet. So in the Meet I will share one screen. So for example, I have shared this screen. So now to use the web paint tool, open the window or page you want to use the tool. For example, I want to use the tool in this window. So towards the right top corner, now click on the extensions option. Here you will find your extension web paint. So click on web paint. So here the toolbar will appear. So this is the toolbar of the web paint. So using this web tool, you can draw shapes, lines, you can add text to live web pages. And here one more option is there that is screenshot. You can take screenshot also of the page. Here in the tools, the first tool is pencil tool. You can draw custom line and shapes using this pencil tool. Then you will find color picker, text to insert. Then you can draw lines. Here you will find curve. Eraser, you can draw and erase. Then this is paint bucket. You can select the cursor again. You can select the custom pencil. You can select pencil. You can draw shapes. Here you can increase the size of the pencil. You can make it, you can change the transparency of the pencil. So these are some tools. Let's select pencil tool. So you can increase and decrease the transparency and you can increase and decrease the size. So using pencil you can highlight any part of your page. You can even switch to cursor using this option arrow option if you want to erase then you can select eraser and you can erase so these are all the tools available then color option available you can even change the color choose your color so you can even change the color Here some controls options are available. From here you can capture a screenshot. Here you can see I captured the screenshot of the page. Then next is close control panel. Using this option you can, you can close this toolbar. Then this option is to quit and here are some tools. This is erase all option. If you want, you can erase all using this option. Here you can see everything is erased. So you can use erase all option to erase everything. Here on the top corner, small icon, you can find settings. So here you can view all the shortcut keys. So these are all the tools of the web paint drawing tool. So you can use this tool to make your teaching more efficient. So this will make your teaching efficient.
Now I will show you the second one that is web paint. The second web paint is this one draw and text. Click on add to chrome to add the extension. Next step click on add extension. So it will take little time. Here you can see web paint has been added to chrome. So this is the icon for this web paint. Now let's take a look how to use this web paint. Now I will start a meet. In this meet I will open one window. You can see this window. So for using the tool that is web paint you have to open the page first and then in the extensions option select the tool. So this is the drawing tool. Second one that is web paint. You can see the icon. You can see the brush. Click on this option. So here you can see the toolbar. So here the same way you will find pencil, then color, picker, text, shapes. Here you will find down also some shapes. You will find your curves. Here you will find cursor. You will find eraser, paint bucket. Here are some settings option. You can pick color from this option. You can increase and decrease the transparency. And you can increase and decrease the size. From this option you can take the screenshot from this option you can close the control panel then this you can quit this box and from this option you can erase all this is to erase everything so this way you can use different tools you can erase using the eraser you can use erase all option to erase all so these are the all tools using this you can take a screenshot and these are the tools to step backward and forward here you can see these tools works as undo and redo. Here you can see. Okay, so this is all about the web paint control panel. So friends, in this video, I shared with you two web paints which are used for drawing different shapes, writing text in live web pages. This will definitely help you in teaching. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.